Captain Monroe? Of course. Chief's gone. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. So, this Colonel Faber, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. If he can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. Rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. All right, this is the spot I was thinking of. Let's get up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Now the wagon should come along this way. Girl? Captain Monroe? 